Welcome to Finance Basics 12 from teachexcel.com. Here I'm going to be talking about perpetuities and how to calculate them in Excel. Also I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how they work. Um, so a per perpetuity is basically a never-ending cash flow. So it's something that you're looking out into the future and there isn't really um, you know, an end to it. There's no horizon for it. So a very common example of this is um, to try and figure out the present value of receiving $10,000 per year for the rest of your life. So the perpetuity is the $10,000 per year for uh, the rest of your life. So forever for you, basically. And your goal is to see, well, how much is that actually worth today? And let's actually add with a discount rate of I like to do 3.75%. So you could say that other similar investments are earning 3.75% or that's what uh, you think that you'll be able to earn on that money. So anyway, the basic perpetuity formula is right here. Annual return divided by discount rate. The discount rate simply basically the uh, could just be the interest rate. So we only have two numbers up here, so it makes it pretty easy. 10,000 divided by 0.0375. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Equals 10,000 divided by 0.0375. Make sure that you put that as a decimal. So don't put 10,000 divided by 3.75. needs to be divided by 0.0375 or 0 0.0375. When you're done with that, hit Enter. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of formatting to this. I'm simply going to click the dollar sign right here. And we see that the present value of this um, perpetuity is $266,666.67. Now you may be saying, well, hey, that sounds really simple. Why do I just divide the amount right, that you're going to be receiving every period by or annually by the percentage rate or the discount rate? Well, let's see what happens if we use the present value formula to calculate the present value um, of this sum of money. Let's do 25 years, 100 years, and 200 years. Or actually 25, 100, and 800. You will see a big difference there. So equals PV, open parentheses, the rate simply 0 0.0375, number of periods 25, Payment, 10000 All right, so for 25, let's go ahead and put the negative here, we get 160432 Okay, so obviously that makes sense, right? It's for a lot less time than your, the rest of your life. Here equals PV, open. 0.0375. And if you don't know how to use the present value function, check out some of the other finance basics tutorials, and I go through those quite thoroughly. So number of periods here, 100. Payment, 10,000. All right, let's check this one out. Ooh, we're getting a lot closer to 266,000 now. All right. Now let's do 800. Maybe someone will live this long in the future. Who knows? Negative sign. And check it out. 800 years, we get $266,666.67. Exactly the same as we would have with the perpetuity. And it doesn't matter what you change this to, really. It's going to be the same. So that's why you don't need to go through doing the whole present value function because this tiny little perpetuity formula is going to equal the same thing. However, if worst case comes to worst and you somehow forget how to calculate the perpetuity, all you have to do is simply calculate the present value of this. So use the present value function, but put it way far out in the future. The higher the perpetuity amount, the farther out in the future you're going to want to put this. 
So if you used a million dollars a year, maybe you'd want to put it out to 5,000 periods or 5,000 years instead of 800 years. But the point is, make it real far out and you'll get the exact same number as you would with the perpetuity. So that's how you can calculate a uh, perpetuity and how you can do it in Excel.